in a small, peaceful village called Wamba, nestled at the foot of a great mountain, lived a young orphan named Wema. Despite her hardships, Wema was known throughout the village for her kindness and warm heart. She often helped the elderly, tended to the sick, and shared the little food she had with those in need. Every morning, Wema would wake up before the sun, helping her neighbors with their chores. She carried water from the river, gathered firewood, and even assisted the elderly in any way she could. The villagers loved her dearly and often said, Wema's heart is as bright as the sun. One day, a rumor spread like wildfire through Wamba about a fearsome giant named Zito, who lived in the Uzi Mountain. Zito was said to be terribly lonely and angry, scaring away anyone who ventured near his cave. The villagers whispered among themselves, afraid of what might happen if Zito ever came down to the village. Curious and compassionate, Wema decided to learn more about Zito. She believed that kindness could touch even the loneliest heart. With a small bundle of food and her unshakable courage, she set off towards the mountain. I will show him kindness, she thought, and maybe, just maybe, he will become our friend. The journey was long and tiring. Wema climbed steep paths and crossed narrow ledges, but she never wavered. Along the way, she marveled at the beauty of the Uzi Mountain, the chirping birds, the rustling leaves, and the majestic views. As she approached Zito's cave, she felt a mix of fear and excitement. Finally, Wema reached Zito's cave. She saw the giant sitting at the entrance, his head hung low. He was enormous, with a sad, gentle face. Gathering all her courage, Wema approached him and softly called out, Hello there, my name is Wema. Startled, Zito looked up, his eyes wide. Who are you and why aren't you afraid of me? he asked in a deep, rumbling voice. I've brought you some food, Wema replied kindly, her voice unwavering. I thought you might be lonely and could use a friend. Zito's eyes softened, and he gestured for her to sit. He took the bundle of food and began to eat, savoring each bite. Thank you, he said, his voice less gruff. I have not had company in a long time. Touched by Wema's kindness, Zito invited her to sit. They shared the food, and Wema listened to Zito's story. He was once a kind-hearted giant who had been cursed by a jealous sorcerer, causing him to live in isolation. I used to have friends, he said, his voice tinged with sadness. But now, everyone fears me. Wema listened intently as Zito recounted his tale. Many years ago, he was beloved by the villagers for his gentle nature and helpful deeds. But a wicked sorcerer, envious of Zito's popularity, cast a spell on him. The spell made Zito appear fearsome and terrifying, driving everyone away. The sorcerer then fled, leaving Zito to a life of solitude. Moved by his tale, Wema promised to visit him often and be his friend. She believed that no one should be alone especially not someone as kind-hearted as Zito. You have suffered enough, she said. I will come back and we will spend time together. You won't be lonely anymore. True to her word, Wema visited Zito regularly. She told him about the children playing, the laughter, and the celebrations. In return, Zito shared his knowledge of the mountains, the stars, and the ancient tales of their land. Slowly, a strong bond of friendship grew between them. One season, Wamba Village was struck by a severe drought. The crops withered, and the villagers were in despair. They struggled to find water, and their once joyful faces were now marked with worry. Wema, seeing the suffering of her people, knew she had to do something. She decided to seek the help of Zito, her giant friend. Wema climbed the mountain once more and found Zito at his cave. The village is in trouble, she explained. The drought has dried up our wells and we have no water. Please, will you help us? Zito looked at her with concern. You have shown me great kindness, he said. Now it is my turn to help your village. 
With his immense strength, Zito descended the mountain and began to dig a deep well. The villagers watched in awe as he worked tirelessly. He dug and dug until he reached an underground river. Fresh water gushed forth, filling the new well and flowing through Wamba. The village was saved, and the people rejoiced. They celebrated with music, dance, and feasting. Zito, once feared, was now a hero. The villagers thanked him exceptionally and welcomed him with open arms. They saw not a fearsome giant, but a kind and gentle friend. Wema's kind act had not only saved Zito from loneliness, but also brought a new friend to Wamba. Zito was no longer feared, and the village thrived with the new well. Wema's simple act of kindness had changed their lives forever. She and Zito became inseparable friends, and their story was told for generations. And so, the story of Wema and Zito became a cherished tale in Wamba, reminding everyone that even the smallest acts of kindness can have the greatest impact. From that day onward, Wema continued spreading her kindness, and Zito, now free from his curse, lived happily among the people who once feared him.